Hi there. My name's Heidi, and this is George, and we work at Animal Emergency and Referral Center of Minnesota. Come here, Sally. This is my other dog, Sally. And we're here to talk to you about cold weather walks. Because in Minnesota today, it's about zero right now. And um, it's been much colder than that this winter as well. So what is a cold weather walk? Well, a cold weather walk is when it's any uh, temperature below about 10 and um, 10 degrees Fahrenheit that is. And when it's that cold and you're, you still need to walk a dog, you wanna take special precautions to protect both themselves and you. So what do you need to do? Well, number one, you need to make sure that you have the proper gear. And from personal experience, I'll advise you to put your gear on after you get your dog dressed. Because if you're trying to get your dog in booties in a down coat, you're gonna be sweating bullets by the time you're all done. So here's what you would need to keep warm. Um, obviously a warm coat. I like to wear a wool sweater under my warm coat, so I'll start with that. This is 100% uh, wool, fantastically warm. I'll also wear a pair of pants with maybe um, a pair of tights or fleece leggings or long underwear underneath. Any of the above is great. This is my coat. It's down. It's got a fur lined hood. Um, faux fur is great. It's still warm and it's going to keep the wind and or snow off of your face. So um, this is a really nice option. You want to have a nice warm boot. These are sorrels, felt lining, really toasty. Mittens are going to serve you better than gloves because they keep your fingers together, keep your hands warmer than, um, than a glove. And something to cover your face. So some sort of a scarf. This is one that I can wrap around my neck three times and then pull up over my face. So either this or a balaclava, something to cover your face so that your skin doesn't freeze. So that covers me, but why do we put on our dogs? Well, Sally wears this sweater. She's got this nice little pink sweater on and um, you can see, you know, her legs are still exposed, but it covers her back. It doesn't cover her belly. There are, there are models that will cover more than this one but she tolerates this one pretty well. George, you're getting in the way. Um, I also put boots on both of my dogs. So my favorite boot brand has been, so far, Mutlucks. I've tried a lot of them and they all seem to fall off. So the Mutlucks are a little bit different. They have a, a really nice Velcro closure, closure that has a reflective tape on it, which is great. So you can cinch it down. They've got leather soles so the water's not going to get through there if we're walking in um, um, warmer temperatures and um, fleece lining and these these are pretty pretty luxurious Sally um, and these are the only things that I found that will stay on little tiny dogs even you do have to cinch them down you need to make sure that your dog's toenails are properly trimmed because if their toenails are too long the booty will be very difficult to get on their foot but these are great little tip in, in putting them on you fold down that little stretchy part over the paw itself and then you stick their foot in being careful to make sure that you get dew claws in there too if they have those because obviously if their dew claws flipped upwards or back against their foot they're not going to be comfortable or happy with your boots at all and then you can push on their little elbow to slide it all the way on what you want to do is make sure that their toes are down here and they will scrunch up their feet like that because, well, at least Sally does because she doesn't really like boots, but she's come to accept them as a necessary part of winter. Then we cinch them down and then she's good to go with her two front feet. Um, they stay on really well, this particular brand. I have them for my bigger dog too. Same idea, only larger. And George is about a border collie size and he wears a small, just to give you an idea of, of fit. Sally is a little terrier, nine pounds, and she wears itty bitty size. Um, as great as these fit, I will not put them on my dogs and let them run off leash in a snowy area because they still will come off if my dogs run full tilt. And um, my lucks aren't cheap, so I don't wanna lose them. So that's just another tip. Um, I only use them for walks on leash. I don't let them run with them off leash because they don't want to lose their boots. So boots are great. Sweater and um, with 
with just these two things, you can take your dog for a walk safely in a lot colder temperatures in the winter. Get yourself outside and get rid of some of that cabin fever. Are you ready to go? Should we go? I think we're ready.